I researched on the internet that the for the management courses Deakin University is very good. Also, you can go in the management like project management. Okay. There's a lot of scope in Australia. Okay. For the further job, the main thing in RMIT is that everyone here is very supportive. There was in software training, you have to do it by yourself. They're not going to teach you. Hi guys, hello and welcome back to another video. This is your caps lock and today we are back with another video. But today we are with Kar uh, Parth, Marcos. But I call him Marcos, that's his gaming name. And just to tell you, we are talking on Masters, Masters of, of Civil Engineering. Civil Engineering. He's studying Masters of Civil Engineering in Australia. Okay, so first of all, thank you so much, bro, mm. to come in this video. And Parth is studying this course for almost one year now. One year done. So we would like to know more questions related to this course that would not be available at that aspect on other search engines which would be um, YouTube, Google and all. So I would love to know more information about this course from you. So first of all, um, if you can just tell me some of your background, what did you study and where do you belong and stuff? I'm from India, Haryana and I had studied Bachelor's of Technology in Civil Engineering and I had done it from Punjab Technical University. and. Here I'm also pursuing the civil engineering studies. That's master of civil engineering, and my <laughs> code is my Relax code okay. is MC257. Okay. That's for the RMIT. That's their that's code. That's typical technical yeah. stuff. Okay. And I had completed almost half of the course. Like I had done one year course. So my experience with RMIT mainly the RMIT is very best. Okay, and we'll go on this, but initially I just wanted to know your background. Okay. Let's go step by step. So first point, civil engineering. What is actually civil engineering and why did you choose civil engineering as your um, Previously, in Australia? I want to do architecture. In Australia? No, no, no. In, in India. Okay. And my score in J mains in architecture one is very good. But my parents want me to do civil engineering. Because my father is also a civil engineer. Oh, in so he knows. So he knows pros and cons for architecture and Others, civil engineering okay. both. So he made me to choose civil engineering. Mm -hmm. But when I enter, I related that both the courses are correlated. Like the architecture. And architecture and civil. As in what? Aspect? Because architecture in architecture, the architect only imagines the things, but civil engineer made it in the real world he in like made tangible his imagination okay. to on on, on he the ground his imagination on the pen and yeah. paper and civil engineer actually makes it in the tangible form to and civil engineer can tell if it is possible to made on ground mm -hmm. or not okay why did you choose australia to be your correct place to do this course there masters? are two reasons for choosing australia for me like first reason is my sister is married here in okay. australia okay. she is also she living here okay. yeah and second thing is that Australia is the safest country in the world for me, like for all. For in general, okay. Like Australia is crime free. So see, it would like be a too, very too big and generic crime, statement yeah. to say. If you will relate it to the course, why did you do to this course, course in Australia, if you have any reason? Uh, the, first, it, oh. the first main reason is that my course is listed in the top, in the PR SOL list. list. Okay. And also Australia is 70, almost 70% undiscovered. So mm -hmm. there is a huge demand of civil engineering here. Also oh, civil engineers have also a yeah, job. Yeah, civil engineering has a lot of scope in Australia okay. for the further jobs. Yep. That's why. Okay. Why did you choose RMIT should be the best university? Because at that time you would be researching multiple universities. But, but why, how did you get, get to know about more that, okay, this is the right choice for me that would be in this. I researched on the internet that the for the management courses Deakin University is very good but for the technical courses RMIT is best in Melbourne. Okay. So that's why I chose RMIT University and my agent also told me that it is good for technical courses. Mm -hmm. And I also watched caps lock videos. <laughs> <laughs> he is okay. also from RMIT University. Yeah. Was but anyway. Yeah. Well first of all thank you until now. Let's go more in the course now it's not going to be too much generic or related to it's going to be more related to what is actually in the course 
So the first thing, which is the main thing that's not available on the Google or on websites, which is totally in the written form. But if you will go in in more of verbal way, what is the course structure? What do they actually teach in this course? If you can tell to okay. the students. So first, I'll tell the course structure. In each, there are four semesters, yes. and each semester you have to do forty-eight credit points. Okay. And each module is around twelve credit points, so you have to take four modules in one in, semester. Yes. And but now in third semester, I saw that there is a master's research project that is for twenty-four credits. Oh, like that so unit is different. Okay. That is a different unit. Okay. So in the first semester, there are combined subjects like technical uh -huh. and for management also. If you can and there was a risk and management subject. Okay. okay. So in which you have to analyze the risk related to the that project, some business okay. or some project. Okay. Okay. And also there are technical subjects like mining. Mm hmm. That I opt by dropping one subject okay. because I have an interest in mining and railways. So is it the case that in in this particular course in the course structure there are multiple. Different units, but it's up to you if you want to just do it. You can. But yeah, there are options that you can choose from this to this. To but you have to choose at least one on this, in this way. You right. have to choose at least four to no, no, no. fill the. What I'm saying is, there will be an option that after three, one of the course could be a chance that there is multiple choices. For example, mining or civil or the basic, and you can kind of specialization. Yeah, you can select. There is option that you can. You have to do two from these four list. Yes. And two from these four lists. Okay. So you can select according so, to you. So they have multiple courses in short, and it's just they, you have to do certain yeah. amounts of credits, and it depends on you which one would you it like. It depends to on you which you want to choose. Makes But sense. But there is a restriction that some of subjects are available for the first semester and for second semester only. Mm -hmm. So you can't take that second semester one in first semester. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Um. Anyways, so next point. How the teachers are? How the assignments are? Are they in helpful? In MIT, there is the course is all on assignments. There okay. are very less modules in which you have to give an exam, but there is no pen paper based exam. More of in the mining subject, I have an exam, and that was like it was open for thirty six hours. Mm -hmm. That was an online exam. Yeah. The professor sent me the PDF of questions, and you have to make a PDF of answer and upload it to the canvas. Canvas is the application in on which you upload yeah. assignments. It's all on the assignments. And the teachers, how the teachers are? Professors here are very helpful. Like if you mail them, they will reply in just one day. Yeah. Okay. But that all that also depends. But on exam time, uh, sometimes I have mailed the professor in the exam time. Like if it was open for thirty six hours, and if you have any query, you can just mail them, and they will reply in about half an hour. Yeah. depends on their depends on their availability yeah. makes sense um but thank you and next point is what are the job opportunities that correlate or come out of this study what are the job roles that come okay. out of this study uh, as i previously told that australia is about 70% undiscovered. undiscovered so there is a lot of job opportunities main positions if i tell like in india there was a junior engineer post mm -hmm. so there is an engineering post here and also you can go in the management like project management as a project manager post in which you have to manage the project like according to the real ground based situations you have to analyze the resources how much resources you have and how you can manage them and also i had one subject like railway infrastructure in which they collaborated with the bentley software that is open rail design and the representative from bentley he gave us a 6 hour session and that's a certificate oh that's a certified course uh huh and you have to attend all the sessions there was there was an attendance and it was like a certificate you got after that you can apply and you can use that certificate in your resume that will be very helpful for you mm -hmm. so these are some job opportunities and like good things you get in rmit in this particular yeah. okay so in short so the opportunity and everything is done that's the last part how's your personal experience till now related to this course or related to australia related to rmit whatever you feel like or something you don't feel like and any advice that you would like 
to give to the students the main thing in rmit is that everyone here is very supportive the main thing i felt okay at least at your because office yes. any time you are having a doubt you can connect to the student connect and to the professors and you can also get advice for the module selection related queries like which module you can select according to your interests mm -hmm. and you can mail the professors and they can guide you for that and but for living in australia it's a very good thing i think because mm -hmm. i'm living here for one year mm -hmm. so as compared to india australia is very peaceful and especially melbourne is melbourne peaceful, is peaceful. Yeah. yeah especially if you're living in suburbs then it's going to be peaceful right yeah and any advice that you would like to share to your other international students who would be coming here soon or doing this course related to this okay. course or related to anything first advice is that you gain the knowledge of your course because here when you come you have to apply that knowledge because as i told you there was in software training you have to do it by yourself they are not going to teach you. professors will only guide you they will tell you the method but you have to do the assignments on your own oh, uh, in my assignment i have to design uh, at least 15 km railway track they had given us the terrain profile and uh -huh. we have to design it like the horizontal profile they have given profile. you instructions and then you need to meet those particular standards to yeah. see if the thing works so or not so gain knowledge about your the, subject the, the software yeah. at least the, the works you are going to do at it. least the basic knowledge of civil engineering you, you have to be having yeah. because that's a master course they're not going to teach you and that's all or anything else that you want to say second thing is that anything that you want to conclude because that's the last part and we're going to end this week the second thing i want to add that be habitual to the research related things because in rmit you have to do online assignments and you have to prepare prepare the research papers because no. it's a master course obviously yeah it's a master course and you have to study research papers and also reference them properly but properly. they want to they want to guide you not teach you guide yeah, you they will they guide but eventually you need to learn that some professors that. don't guide you they thinks that you are up to you date are up for to that the mark. Yeah. but you can ask obviously rather yeah, you than rather ask. than not getting marks is better to just ask before yeah. the assignment submission before the submission you can ask and this course that's the last quick question this course leads to phd as well can you do phd after yeah this you, we can do we phd can do yeah. yeah so first of all thank you and sharing all the information um so this was all the information which i could collect but if you want another video with parth so we can obviously um do it but make sure to comment them you comment your suggestions below and if you're fine with it i would love to share your linkedin or instagram so yeah. that if they have any questions they can text you and whenever you're free you can reply them back yeah sure yeah and i would say just don't say hi just put proper question hi parth and then this is a question so that he can understand it could be a normal message as well just to tell you um and if you have any questions with me or any suggestions for me just subscribe the channel follow me on instagram and dm me directly or you can join the telegram group and there's so many people and i talk to so like this video share this video and subscribe to the channel if you need more information i'll see you in the next video